Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, right, welcome to Categories. Today we're matching up two schools from the Blue Valley School District as the Blue Valley Southwest Timberwolves take on the Blue Valley North Mustangs. Let's go ahead and meet our competitors first from Southwest. Hi, I'm Madeline and I'm a junior. And I'm Katie, I'm a senior. I'm Ian and I'm a freshman. I'm Michelle and I'm a senior. I'm Ananda and I'm a junior. And our competitors from North. I'm Emmeline and I'm a senior. I'm James, and I'm a junior. Michael, I'm a junior. I'm Ganesh, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Jake, I'm a junior. All right, fantastic. Here on Categories, in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a team answers incorrectly, they will, of course, not be awarded a point, and the other team will get a chance to steal. If they do answer the question correctly, they earn a point for their squad. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by Blue Valley North. So Mustangs, here is the first question. It is historical landmarks. The cornerstone was laid in 1848, but it was not completed until 1884. In exactly the same proportions as an ancient Egyptian obelisk, it's one of the most familiar landmarks in the United States. James. Washington Monument. Washington Monument, very good. Timberwolves, US Geography, Cities is the category. What state is Michigan City in? Yeah. Wisconsin. Is not Wisconsin. North, chance to steal this geography city's question. What state is Michigan City in? Ganesh? Iowa. Is not Iowa, it's Indiana. Uh -huh. Indiana. On the shores of Lake Michigan, by the way. All right, coming back to you, Mustangs, with current events. According to the World Wildlife Fund, fewer of these made their yearly migration to Mexico in 2013 than any year since records have been kept. Name that animal. Ganesh. Monarch butterfly. Monarch butterfly, very good. Entertainment, Timberwolves. What comedian once said, if you have a complete set of salad bowls that say Cool Whip on the side, you might be a redneck? Jeff Dunham. It's not Jeff Dunham. Mustangs, chance to steal this entertainment question. James. Jeff Foxworthy. Jeff Foxworthy is the correct answer. Mustangs, back to you with mythology. Scorning the love of the nymphs, he fell in love with his own image in a pool of water. Jake. Narcissus. Narcissus, yes. Southwest, vocabulary is your question. This word ends in the suffix ish, I-S-H. And the definition is, Bestowing in great abundance. Time on that. Blue Valley North, chance to steal this vocabulary question. This word ends in ish, and its definition is bestowing in great abundance. Jake. Lavish. It is lavish. North, back to you with another geography question, this time about islands. Some 25 miles south of Cape Cod, this island is, crest, is crescent-shaped and about 14 miles long. During the 17th and 18th centuries, it was the base for a prosperous whaling industry. What island is it? Ganesh? Nantucket? It is Nantucket. Southwest, science is the category. Its, its body is scaled and it has a long tail. It is the largest lizard found in the New World. It, it attains a maximum length of over six feet. Name this creature. Gila monster? It's not the Gila monster. North, chance to steal. Michael? Komodo dragon. It's not the Komodo dragon. <laughs> it's the iguana. Iguana. Komodo dragon might be in the eastern hemisphere or the old world. Science is the next category and it belongs to you Mustangs. Water droplets in the air condense on smoke particles particles of salt from evaporating sea spray, and dust. These particles are known as condensation what? Emily. Droplets. Can I accept droplets? Timberwolves, chance to steal this science category. Water droplets in the air condense on smoke particles, particles of salt from evaporating sea spray, and dust. These particles are known as condensation what? Exit. 
clouds? Not clouds. We're looking for condensation nuclei. Condensation nuclei. Southwest, you do get the next question. It is world geography. The Romans in ancient times called it Mare Nostrum, or our sea. What do we call it today? Yes. The Mediterranean. It is the Mediterranean. Very good. Blue Valley North, you have the next category, and it, it is music. Name the three solo instruments joined by the orchestra in Beethoven's Triple Concerto. Emmeline. Um, oboe, flute, and clarinet. Sorry, that's incorrect. Timberwolves, chance to steal this music category. Name the three solo instruments joined by the orchestra in Beethoven's Triple Concerto. Lexi. Flute, violin, and clarinet. Sorry, that's incorrect. Violin is one of them. Cello and piano are the other two. Timberwolves, you do get the next question, and it is math. Find the area of a rhombus with diagonal lengths of 7 and 12. Time on that, sorry. Blue Valley North, you have a chance to steal this math category. Find the area of a rhombus with diagonal lengths of 7 and 12. Michael. 84. It is not 84. It is 42. One half the diagonal times the diagonal. Mustangs, you do get the next question. This time it is a sports question, and it's tennis. What female tennis player has the most consecutive singles wins at Wimbledon? Michael. Steffi Graf. It is not Steffi Graf. Southwest, chance to steal this sports tennis category. What female tennis player has the most consecutive singles wins at Wimbledon? Serena Williams. It's not Serena Williams. It's Martina Navratilova. She had six wins in a row. Six wins in a row. Southwest, we are going back to you with presidential quotes. Which president said, as I would not be a slave, so I would not be a master? Um, Abraham Lincoln. It is Abraham Lincoln. Good job. Mustang, so back to you with a science question. It is multiple choice. Which of the following is the best example of a parabola in the physical world? Is it the surface of water in a tilted cylindrical glass, a wire suspended from two points, the paths of Halley's Comet, or the reflecting mirror of a telescope? Emily. A wire suspended from two points. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Southwest, chance to steal this science question. It once again, it's multiple choice. Which of the following is the best example of a parabola in, a physical, in the physical world? The surface of water in a tilted cylindrical glass, the wire suspended from two points, the path of Halley's Comet, or the reflecting mirror of a telescope? Michelle. The reflecting mirror of a telescope? That's correct. Very good. Timberwolves, we are going back to you with religion. After the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, who, fa who fathered sons by his two daughters? Mustangs, chance to steal this religion category. After the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, who fathered sons by his two daughters? Jake. Lot. It was Lot. We are sticking with uh, the Mustangs here on this next question. World geography is the category. In this next question, you must identify one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. These are statues of large-headed men with ruthless expressions and may be found on what South Pacific Ganesh. Easter Island. Easter Island. Very good. Southwest, general knowledge is the category. And once again, it's a multiple choice question. Of Brazil nuts, filberts, black walnuts, and pecans, which is not native to the Western Hemisphere? Katie. Black walnuts. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this general knowledge question of Brazil nuts, filberts, black walnuts, and pecans, which is not native to the Western Hemisphere. Ganesh. Pecans. It's the filbert. Sorry, it's filbert. Blue Valley North. Games is the category. What is the worst distance to leave an unprotected piece from an opponent in backgammon? Backgammon. 
Emily. Three spaces. I'm sorry, it's not three spaces. Southwest, chance to steal this games category. What is the worst distance to leave an unprotected piece from an opponent in backgammon? Michelle. Two spaces. It's not two, it is six. Six spaces. Southwest, you do have the next category. It is music. In the song Easter Parade, what's the street on which the photographers will snap us and you'll find that you're in the rot rotogravure? Katie. Pennsylvania Avenue. It is not Pennsylvania Avenue. Mustangs, you have a chance to steal this music category. In the song Easter Parade, what's the street Oh, well, excuse me. What's the street on which the photographers will snap us and you'll find that you're in the Rotogravure? Emmeline. Fifth Avenue. It is Fifth Avenue. Mustangs, you get the next question. It is world history. The Bolsheviks and the Mensheviks are, were factions of what Russian political party with a two-word name? Jake. Soviet Union. I cannot accept Soviet Union. Southwest, chance to steal this world history question. The Bolsheviks and the Mensheviks, Mensheviks were factions of what Russian political party with a two-word name? Katie. Democratic Socialists. We will take that. Or Social Democrats, either one. Timberwolves, you will get the next question. It is science. Which chemical element is contained in vinegar but not in methane. Time on that. North, chance to steal this science question. Which chemical element is contained in vinegar but not in methane? Emmeline. Oxygen. It is oxygen. Mustangs, you get the next question. It is world history. In the 1860s, archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli made a human body cast from the cavities of the dead left in the ash in which city? Ganesh. Pompeii. It is Pompeii. Another world history question for you, this time Southwest. It's a fairly long question, so please pay attention. This nephew of Emperor Franz Joseph became heir to the Habsburg thrones after the suicide of the Crown Prince Rudolf in 1889 and the death of his own father, Archduke Karl Ludwig, in 1896. With wife Sophie, he was assassinated by a Bosnian Serb in 1914, which led to the outbreak of World War I. Named the Austrian Archduke. Katie. Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand, very good. Blue Valley North, science is the category. The largest bone in the human body is the femur. What's the largest nerve in the body? James? The parochial nerve. It is not the it's parochial nerve. <laughs> Southwest, you do have a chance to steal this before we go into half. As science is the category, the largest bone in the human body is the femur. What's the largest nerve in the body? Madeline? Optical. It is not the optical nerve, it's the sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve. As we head into halftime, we have a score of Blue Valley North 11, Blue Valley Southwest Five. At this part of our program, we will go to a team member from each squad and they will give us a campus update. And Madeline, I believe you are giving the update for the Timberwolves. Um, well, this last weekend, both our boys and girls um, freshman basketball teams had a very successful weekend. Um, our wrestling team has also had a very successful season. And along with our forensics team, we qualified two people to the state tournament this last weekend and we are currently in production of our winter musical, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Fantastic, all right. And it looks like James, you're giving the update for the Mustangs, what's happening at Blue Valley North? Well, we, uh, we just finished our production of Young Frankenstein, the musical, which I saw and it was awesome. Um, our winter sports are off to a good start and um, that's about it. Not much else. Any dances coming up? Or oh, next? yeah. Uh, Sweet <laughs> Sweetheart is coming up next month, or this month, actually. So. All right. Fantastic. I knew, I knew that was on the tip of your tongue. <laughs> I knew that was on the tip of your tongue. And before we head into the second half, I'm going to apologize to Katie, because, Katie, I was calling you Lexi for the first three answers, but it's obviously Katie. All right. So, so we're <laughs> going to continue in the second round here. 
I feel embarrassed by, by doing that, so I apologize. Uh, before we head into the rest of the lightning round, we're going to start our lightning round with our look and listen question. We provide a monitor and speakers here in the uh, studio for our contestants, and as well, those playing at home, you can just watch the TV screen. And uh, the look and listen question is worth two points. Just one thing here to the contestants in the studio. Once we start the video, we cannot requeue it and start it over. So once the question has been tried, we have to stop the video at that time. Okay, here we go. Both teams, the look and listen question is this. What city is home to this mammoth structure? James. Seattle. I'm sorry, it is not Seattle. Southwest, chance to steal. What city is home to this mammoth structure? Katie. Dubai. It is Dubai. Nice job. Two points goes to Southwest. As we continue with the rest of our lightning round, a question is placed on the floor for either team to answer. If the team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they re respond with an incorrect answer, the other team will get a chance to steal. So here we go. General knowledge is the category. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the loudest was 87.5 decibels by a member of the British royal family. What somnolent behavior am I describing? James. Snoring. Snoring. World geography for both teams. What country lies across the Rio de la Plata from Argentina? Katie? Chile. It's not Chile. North, chance to steal this world geography question. What country lies across the Rio de la Plata from Argentina? Ganesh. Uruguay. It is Uruguay. Current events for both teams. The Winter Olympics, which began this week in Sochi, will cost an estimated $50 billion, 10 times what was spent four years ago in what city? Emily. Vancouver. Vancouver. Vocabulary for both teams. What common term describes the extraordinarily human capability called eidetic Im imagery? Eidetic imagery. Emily. Photographic memory. Photographic memory. Fine Arts Cinema is the next category for both teams. Betty Davis turned down a famous role in this 1939 film. Davis thought that her co-star was going to be Errol Flynn, with whom she refused to work. Name the role and the 1939 movie. Katie. Gone with the Wind, Scarlett O'Hara. Very good. Mathematics for the both teams. Give me two consecutive even positive integers whose product is 360. Ganesh. 18 and 20. 18 and 20. Expeditions for both teams. That's a fairly long question. In 1914, Sir Ernest Shackleton led the British expedition. The objective was to become the first to cross Antarctica. Their ship became stuck in the ice for 10 months and ended up being crushed. Shackleton and five others journeyed more than 800 miles in small boats before returning with a rescue party. Name his ship. Michelle? The Alice May. It is not the Alice May. Mustangs, chance to steal this expedition's question. In 1914, Sir Ernest, Shack Sir Ernest Shackleton led a British expedition. The objective was to become the first to cross Antarctica. Their ship became stuck in the ice for 10 months and ended up being crushed. Shackleton and five others journeyed more than 800 miles in small boats before returning with a rescue party. Name his ship. It was the Endurance. Endurance. U.S. presidents for both teams. Theodore Roosevelt made, a, made the first trip outside the United States by a president in office. What Central American location did he visit? Emily? Panama. Panama. General knowledge for both teams. If I mentioned olive, avocado, pine, forest, lime, emerald, and kelly, what would I be talking about? Emily? Anything green? Green. Very good. Agriculture for both teams. With a pH of 5.0, it is more acidic than acid rain, whose pH balances 5.6. Yet people still drink it in ever-increasing amounts. What is this beverage? I mean, 
Coffee? It is coffee. Literature for both teams. Another long question, but these are really good questions. An accomplished physician, essayist, and novelist, his travel journals are amongst the best in their genre. His experiences with, mes with mescaline led him to write Heaven and Hell and The Doors of Perception, from which Jim Morrison's doors named themselves. His most famous work, Brave New World, paints a... James. Aldous Huxley. Aldous Huxley, very good. World history for both teams. Whom did the Allies defeat in the 1571 Battle of Lepitano? Ganesh? The Ottomans. The Ottomans, very good. Lepanto, actually, I'm sorry. Spelling for both teams. Representatives of 92 countries, including the U.S., signed a 2003 treaty to require countries to clean up unexploded ordnance after a war. How do you spell ordnance? Ganesh? O-R-D-I-N-A-N-C-E. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mm. Southwest, chance to steal this spelling question. Representatives of 92 countries, including the U.S., signed a 2003 treaty that requires countries to clean up unexploded ordnance after a war. How do you spell ordnance? Katie. O-R-D-I-N-A-N-C-E. A-N-T-S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's ordinance. There's no I in between there. It's O-R-D-N-A-N-C-E. General knowledge for both teams. Five of America's leading cash crops are wheat, corn, oats, soybean, and potatoes. In which two does the U.S. lead all nations? Katie. Corn and soybeans. Corn and soybeans, right on the money. U.S. Geography, what is the smallest state in the Deep South? Katie? Louisiana. It is not Louisiana. North, chance to steal this U.S. Geography. Name the smallest state in the Deep South. Ganesh? South Carolina. It is South Carolina. Literature for both teams. Many of Charles Dickens' novels stood as an indictment of various evils in society. Of what system was Little Dorrit an indictment? James. The prison system? I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Southwest, do you have a chance to steal this literature question? Many of Charles Dickens' novels stood as an indictment of various evils in society. Of what system was Little Dorrit an indictment? Madeline. The judiciary system? I cannot accept that either. Imprisonment was close, but it needed to be debtor's prison. Imprisonment for debt. Both teams, science. What word starting with the letter X means the surgical transfer of organs from one species to another? It's xenotransplantation. History for both teams. Israel's first president was Chaim Wiseman. Who was Israel's first prime minister? It was David Ben-Gurion. Greek is the next category. In ancient Greece, the professional itinerant teachers of philosophy, famous for clever arguments, were called what? Emily? Rhetoricians. I cannot accept that. Timberwolves, Greek is the category. In ancient Greece, the professional itinerant teachers of philosophy, famous for clever arguments, were called what? Katie. The debaters. They're not debaters. They're called sophists. Sophists. Entertainment, musicians in particular. Rock stars Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, and Janis Joplin. All died at what same age? Jake. 27. 27, very good. <laughs> Language for both teams. A subtle form of name calling involves using words with negative meaning. For example, critics of a fiscally conservative legislator might call him miserly, while supporters would call him frugal. Both terms have similar denotations, but different what? Emmeline. Connotations. Connotations. 
Another vocabulary question for both teams. This is a legal instrument in letter form issued under seal in the name of the English monarch. This word starts with a W. Metal. A writ. A writ, very good. World geography for both teams. What is the common name for the line of latitude which passes through all of the following countries? Saudi Arabia, Algeria, Burma, Libya, India, and Mexico. Ganesh. Equator. I cannot accept equator. Southwest, chance to steal this world geography question. What is the common name for the line of latitude which passes through all the following countries? Saudi Arabia, Algeria, Burma, Libya, India, and Mexico. Katie. Tropic of Cancer. It is the Tropic of Cancer. Language, especially, well, this is actually more of a computer question than a language question. So computers is the category. What do the letters stand for in a computer's USB port? Universal Serial Bus. Famous names is the next category. What name is shared by white gypsum powder used in casting, the son of King Priam of Troy, in cities in Texas and France? Michelle. Paris. It is Paris. Literature. Name the supervisor of the workhouse where Oliver Twist was born. Time on that one, we're looking for Mr. Bumble. Mr. Bumble. Sometimes as I struggle through questions, I feel like Mr. Bumble. All right, as we ended our, uh, that siren does denote the end of our game with the score of Blue Valley North 23, Blue Valley Southwest 13. Please join us again next week or next time as we bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Kansas City.